Want to create stunning animated maps like the pros? In this tutorial, you'll learn how to highlight and animate any city area in After Effects. I'll show you exactly how to do it for New York City using the GeoLayers plugin. Plus, I'll reveal how to add deep glow effect that makes your maps pop. Stay until the end to see the complete animation process. First, create a new project and set the duration to 15 seconds. In this case, I will take dark matter with no labels map style. Click Create. I will remove the attribution from the bottom left corner. Now move on the map to the area of New York City. Now I'm importing already prepared areas of New York City, and the link for that GeoJSON file you can find in the description. You can see that the city is divided into five areas, and let's import them one by one into the model. Now rename the layers to Staten Island, Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. Change the colors for every area. Let the colors be different. Now you need to copy all five areas. Add stroke to them and remove the fill. Now you need to change the mode of the first five layers to color. Next, change the colors of the stroke to be the same as the color of the original layer that we duplicated. Next, I will add a name for every area, so type Staten Island, Manhattan, and all area names. Let the colors of the text be a softer and lighter version of our main color for that area. Parent all text layers with World Map Comp Anchor and select 3D layer. Now I'm going to move every area in time two seconds after the previous one. So put the first area at second one, the second area at second three, the third area at second five, and so on.
Now you need to animate the opacity of our filled area. Set it to zero at the beginning and to 100 after one second. Do that for all five fill areas. Next, select the stroke areas and add trim paths to every one of them. Now animate end, put 0 at the beginning and 100 after 1 second. Do that for all five stroke layers. Now the text layer. Under the text, click Animate and then Position. At Animator, click on Add, Property, Opacity. Set position on the Z axis to minus 100. Opacity to zero. Under Range Selector, click the stopwatch next to Offset and set it to minus 100 at the first frame and to 100 after one second. Now click on Advanced and here change shape to Ramp Up Copy that animator to all text layers. Now you can select all text layers and select Motion Blur. You can add the deep glow effect to the area layers that have stroke. You can rotate text layers to get a more 3D look of the text.
the last thing that you need to do is to animate the camera along the animation. And that's it. If you like this video or you have any suggestions about the video, hit the comment and click like and subscribe.